In the previous lecture, we learned about the essentials of networking, including details of the HTTP protocol. Now we'll look at how Node can be used to construct an HTTP server. This is where the core HTTP module that is built into Node comes to our aid. In addition, we will look at a couple of other core Node modules that are useful for building an HTTP server from uh, using Node. So how do we make use of the Node HTTP module? And as I mentioned, the HTTP module is one of the core modules that are built into the Node. So this is a core networking model that supports a high performance foundation for uh, an HTTP stack. So using the module within our Node application requires us to uh, import that module into our application. So this is what we uh, do by saying const HTTP is equal to require and the name of the module HTTP there. Now, once the module is imported, then this HTTP module supports a create server uh, function, which takes as a parameter a function that um, acts as the callback function for the create server module. And this function has two parameters, request and response. The request is the request message that comes in from the client side, and we can parse the request message and then extract a lot of information from the request message and use it to make decisions on how we construct the response message corresponding to that. The response message is constructed using the second parameter here, the rest, on which we can um, construct the various header values for our HTTP response message and also the body of the HTTP response message. Now to start the server, once you create the server, then you would say server listen and then supply the port number and the host name for the server and that will start up our server. We'll look at some details in the example uh, exercise that follows this lecture. As I mentioned, the incoming request message information is available to, through the rec parameter that the function takes in the create server method. So the rec or request, if you want to give a full name, you can call it as request. But in general, we have found that in examples, we use the REQ to represent the request message. It uh, supports uh, on the uh, JavaScript object properties like the header, the body, and also various information that can be extracted, the URL and the method that has been requested by the client site. And in response, you construct the response using the response JavaScript object, which supports the set header function, the status code function, which can be set to the status code of the response message. And then you would uh, write the message saying rest.write and you would end the message by saying rest.end and that takes the final part of the body for the message. The body may be either standard text or HTML or any other um, information that you want to enclose inside the body of the reply message. And, but once the rest end is called, the reply is sent back to the client from the HTTP server. Two other uh, core modules that are useful for us when we are constructing the Node HTTP server is the Node path module. The path module enables us to specify the path to a file and then examine whether the file exists or uh, examine more details about the file. For example, the extension uh, of the file name and so on. So the path module can be used within our application by requiring the path module as shown here. And then this supports methods like, for example, path resolve, which will con uh, convert a relative path into an absolute path, uh, that uh, the entire path to the file. You can also check the extension name for the, uh, for the file by uh, calling the path ext name uh, function and supply the file path. And that'll examine the extension of the file name. Similarly, the file system module, again, a core module in Node, will enable us to 
read and write files that exist in the local file system on the computer. So the file system module can be uh, used within our Node application by requiring it uh, as shown here. And then this file system module supports many methods, including a method for checking whether the file exists in the local file system or not. So the FS exists will take the file path as the first parameter. And the second parameter is a callback function, which will come back with a parameter, uh, which we can name it as exists. This parameter exists will be true if the file exists and will be false if the file does not exist within the local file system. Similarly, you can uh, read from the file by creating a read stream given the file path. So you can say fs create read stream and the file path, and this can be piped in to the response message. So the file will be read in from the file uh, given by the file path, and then the contents will be uh, put into the body of the response message by calling a uh, chained function as shown here. So these are some examples of some core node modules that will be very useful when we are constructing a, a HTTP server using Node. Now that we understand some details about the HTTP server and how it can be constructed, let's go to the exercise where we will construct a simple Node HTTP server, which first will serve up some, uh, some um, basic information. And then after that, we'll serve up files that exist in a public folder in our project.